Good morning everybody, Sam here with Fence Twins TV back with another video and welcome to a chilly morning out here on Lake Lanier. It's good to get back fishing with Jake again. School schedules have been colliding and uh, we're off of school for fall break now so got some time to come out here and uh, chase after some spotted bass. But uh, water temps are dropping and uh, the wintertime bite is right around the corner. So yeah, water temps are getting down. Uh, we got rock, road beds, and ditches should be in play today. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Let's get after it. Before we get started, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video, and stay tuned. Running a uh, morning time ditch pattern, just fishing some little swim baits, easing them real slow along the bottom. We're gonna be getting uh, into December here soon, so it's time for it. First time this year, so we're fired up. There's still a little bit of a herring bite. This time of year, the herring will get in big giant schools and they'll move up the lake together um, as the water cools down, so. If we find some big schools of herring like that, a lot of times the birds will indicate it. Um, we'll uh, we'll chase after them and see if we can catch a couple spots mixed in with the stripers. But other than that, we're gonna run ditches early and then uh, fish rock for the rest of the day and uh, see if we can find some of those big crawfish eaters. <laughs> I was. <laughs> <laughs> They're on me. Oh. Got him. <laughs> Let's go. Good start. First ditch fish of the trip. There we go, good fish to start the day. I saw them on live. They actually ended up getting a little closer to the boat than I wanted to, but I just dropped that swim bait right down on their heads, hold it still. It's kind of holding on a little piece of rock where the ditch comes up in about 20, 25 foot of water. But uh, sure enough, I held it there still and he ate it. Look at those two ducks right there. Wait. Those are deep. Oh. I have crackers. The mallard is a decoy. Oh my gosh. Are you still filming it? Yeah. Dude, I've never seen that before. That's a canvas bag, 100%. Oh, I got one. Pretty, that's a solid one there. Oh yeah, look at the size of that one. Oh yeah. That's what we're looking for. A drag peeler. Woo! Breaking in the drag on my new Vanfords. Good. Man, they don't give up, do they? Oh. Four and a half pounder all day, baby. Let's go. Good gosh, look at the size of that fish. Absolutely swallowed my worm. Second time today I've had that happen. Just stolen that worm on eight pound Seaguar Tatsu. Keeping it easy on the drag. And man. Get them big girls in. First real big fish of the day. Coming out here in about 10 foot of water off some rock. Saw him on Mega Live, pitched over there. Thought it might have just been a little stump. And I saw him rise up. Me, me and Jake were actually just laughing, joking. And I tight down on the rod and uh, he was on there. I love it. That worked. That never 
never works. <laughs> there he is. There you go. Boys up there shallow. All the way up on the rocks. On the worm. Might not need a net for this guy. <laughs> there we go. Just sat on these rocks. Starting to warm up a little bit. Shedded the big jacket. We'll keep fishing and see if we can get on some bigger ones. Hooked up. Another good one. Watch your line. Woo! Solid fish here. Changed up the plan a little bit. Fishing slowed down on us. And uh, couldn't really get bit on that main late rock anymore. So we decided to come try some rock in here around some of the morning ditches and figured some of those fish that are in there in the mornings maybe pull out and uh, hang out during the day on some of these points and sure enough you got a good in here probably three and a quarter here we go another good crawfish eater See him? And I'm gonna put it right in front of his face. Watch it block. Boom. Right there on him. And let us see. Okay, he's on the bottom. Who's down on it? He's down there on the bottom. Right there with it. Oh, he's biting it. He's on it. Oh yeah, this is a big one here. Woo wee! It's a good sized fish. Yeah. Caught our shot there. <laughs> Saw him on live. Watched him all the way down to it. Get him. Another big one there. Man, that was cool. Boom, another solid fish right there. This one was sitting off here deeper. I saw him on Mega Lives just suspending, tossed that worm out there to him, followed him down, and uh, called my shot here, and a good one. I know I've mentioned this before, but that's another great example of how this Mega Live has completely changed the way that we're able to fish. Um, Jake and I are able to fish together a lot better. Um, instead of before, both of us just throwing at the bank, throwing on top of each other a lot of times. Um, one of us can be fishing the bank and fishing up shallow, and then whoever's on the front deck can keep an eye on the mega live and look for those fish in 20, 25 foot of water. So while I may be throwing up shallow with him a little bit, I'm always gonna keep an eye up here on my screen. And if I see any kind of suspended fish or fish that look like they're feeding, I can reel in and pitch a bait right to them. And a lot of times we'll have a situation like we just had but they'll follow to the bottom and uh, get right on it. There he is. He's heavy. Oh yeah, big fish. The classic spot lock on the back deck. Heck yeah. Woo I can tug. Come on. Got some shoulders Heck on yeah, him. nice size fish. That's a fat one. Heck yeah, finally got a big bite back there on the back deck. Sam's had a little more success up using that mega live, but just throwing up on the bank with that Senko and finally got a big bite.
All right, I think we're gonna wrap it up here pretty soon. Uh, that's gonna finish off a good day of doing some early wintertime spotted bass fishing. We caught some nice fish and had a fun time doing it. Yeah, we did. We got out there early this morning and headed straight to our wintertime ditches. And it didn't pan out exactly how we expected. I've been hearing there's bait and fish back there but I think we're still a couple weeks early. Um, we caught one good three pounder we saw back there, but other than that, it was slow. We went to four or five ditches and they're just really not packed in there yet, but I'm looking forward to the next couple weeks when we get back out here and hopefully they've moved back in those ditches. But for today, the key was rock. Our rock bite was really good, especially after 10, 10, 30, we got on some big fish. We had that four and a half pounder, a couple three and a half, three pounders, so. For early wintertime fishing, I'm gonna say stick to that rock bite. It really produces good sized fish. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to go down, hit the subscribe button, uh, leave a comment, tell us what you think, and we'll see you guys next time on Fin Swims TV. See you.